What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session, and today we're going to be looking at how to play the button from a 25 big blind stack. Button versus big blind, huh? No, button versus the table. Okay. Cool. Our uh, button will be in position, uh, meaning uh, we're not against the blind, we're versus open. I like a jam here. Yeah, right? Jamming. get scammed I usually call here yeah no oh, and we get it actually get a good flop for fives I would bet small two right yeah you could do one or two probably two is the main frequency I don't know we're 25 effective maybe it is one do you maybe think two you're using big sizes sometimes uh, yeah, I mean, like, if you've got pocket sevens, you're going to have sevens and eights sometimes, I guess. Yeah, so six and sevens and eights probably want to go somewhere gonna, around five. I'm trying to think when they start jamming versus UTG1. My guess was that there's no big size at all here. Nothing. It's just too yellow. Nothing else. I imagine there would probably be maybe some, but maybe not. Like ace, ace five, probably, maybe? I don't know. No. Not really. You're right. Yeah, it's just basically small and smaller. Yeah. Ace four. Yeah, a ace four is uh, feeling for It doesn't make sense, right? We were thinking about like ace five or pocket six, pocket seven more than... Yeah. Yeah, it does seem weird, right? I don't... I would probably I it's just... because you can't like do a turn shove, right? Like... Even if you go half pot, it's still not good for turn shoving. Maybe. I like I I go small here again. What do you do with diamonds? Uh, I don't want to. Okay, so if you go too big, you're gonna give some of his hands the the green light just to get. Just to check jam on you, right? What do you do if it's winter and you have just the ace of diamond? Uh, I would probably bet small again. Okay, so you go small with everything. I don't know. I'm going six here. I just, I don't like six just because you completely block his calling range unless he's like slow playing an over pair or something silly. Do you think what can he range at three here? here? I'm just thinking, like, what is he? Uh, <laughs> what 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 calls six? Do, do we go that big one? A four liner comes in. Well, it's not a four liner. It's just a paired middle card. Uh, oh, I okay. I'm ready. Yeah, and then um, I'm thinking we go six here because if you don't go six here. How are you going to play for stacks on the road? Yes, six lets, lets us get it in. And then you have some bluffs here. There are bluffs I want to go six, do they? I mean, if you bet three, it's just the pot size jam. Yeah, road, I like, kind of... Like, you, you, have, you have top set. Like, you're not scared of anything. Like, the only thing you're losing to is fours here. Just let him call with his, with his shit hands. And then whenever he goes on the river, if he has something, he has something. I don't know, Bill. Uh, if river is like... Uh, yeah, okay. There's nothing we're afraid of. We we want to we want to give him give him some rip to hang himself. Right? Maybe it's too strong to go six. That could, that could make sense. Yeah. No. It's still it's still sixes, but I mean, okay, it's in there some, mm. but it's still sixes. Yeah, six. And then my guess was that there's just the blast want to go six here. All right. So yeah, when you bet six, look at what his continue range is. And let's see if that like makes sense. Well, first, do you not want to see how what you bet six and what you don't bet six? My guess. Yeah, yeah, we we can do that. Diamonds bet six a lot, but we don't have much diamonds here. That's very very thin, right? So what is betting six here? In? It's like it looks, it looks like most of the range is betting six. It's almost like. Queen Jack off. Hearts. 
everything. I would expect diamonds bet six, but I would expect to have the full diamonds, no? Our diamonds are mixing. Uh, these threes are straight. All right, well, you could go for it with just the ace of diamond here. Yeah. Sure. All right. And then yeah, it's tough. I was I was I was gonna say look at his call range is what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, but it's tough to go out there with like King Ten of Spade and then but they just mm -hmm. because it's the motion, right? Let's see the calling range. All right, so continuing with his ace, his strong ace high is just like 100% frequency. So like ace queens, ace kings. You think ace kings continuing without a diamond? I mean, even if they have a diamond, ace king off. Uh, I think it just likes the ace because there's a gut shot. I think what about queen? Well, the queen, those are the flush draws. So, I mean, those make sense. Like I think the the ranges are still so wide. I mean, we're we're nearing it down. Whenever we're getting six a lot, but with the flop going only two point two in call, I mean, the ranges are still super wide. Like there's just so, so much like Broadway stuff that we still have. That so we have I see I, I I see the equilibrium strategy here. I mean, this makes sense, right? So if they if you bet six, they're supposed to continue. Like you're getting value from all of these strong ASX. Um, in game, do you think that they're defending? Ace Queen of Hearts to a um it's still a, like yeah yeah I think they they might stick in another bet just to see gonna, if it's an ace not against sixes not yeah. against six point one I don't think that's kind of that's kind of what I was that's well I mean that's what I was thinking like that's yeah. the reason I would have deviated in game but I mean this makes sense if you think they're calling if you think Ace Queen is calling six point one here bet six point one for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, this is really about equity denial, right? Like his ace queen has a gut shot and two overs. So it's very live against all of the value hands that we're doing here when we have pocket eights or pocket nines or pocket queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be uh, I'd be on board with that, Peter, but we have a full house. So it's like Yeah. I, I kind of want to be like equity inviting. <laughs> yeah, keep the fish on the line. I get it. I'm, right. I'm not by nature, but who wants to to say it? Uh, I'm not going to jam here. I'm going to. I think five's okay, and then like I, I mean, verse cutoff. I'm less inclined to to call kings. Why? It's a perfect spot, no? There's not as many squeeze opportunities behind. So and what if there are bounties here? Well, I mean, bounties. I would be more inclined. Do you not mix there? Fifty fifty. I am flatting kings if it's like earlier positions, I think. I guess, okay, so how do you work it in your head? So EP, you're going to flat kings a lot. And then against steel positions, you don't? Well, so like some of the EV of a hand like this comes from people squeezing behind. That's like one of the benefits of flatting. So like the less squeeze opportunities behind, the less... EV in this strategy, I think there is. So whereas like two aggressive players in the blind, you tend to yes. Play. If they're aggressive, like if you if 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 you got a green tag on the small blind here and he's a maniac, yes, I'm flatting here full frequency. If you, if, you, if you don't have any tags. Uh I'm just gonna say there's not much of an opportunity here, and I'm probably just gonna slot this into like my five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if their yeah. their three bet is under eight. Maybe you can raise, but like if they're three bets over eight, you should flat a lot here. I thought I thought you were the the the, the best at flat calling kings from the button. <laughs> this I like flat. I mean, I I flat from this stack up a lot. It's just when ranges are wide, I'm um, I don't know. I guess I put it oh. in the three bed spot. What I would do? Bet small, or do you check? 
Nah, I would bet small, I think. Oh, I bet small. Hmm. Either bet 2.2 .2 or check. I would, so you, yeah. just, you just called and got an ace. I'm not betting second pair here. I think the EV of our hand now stands in him making a mistake. It's it's a lot better than second pair. Second pair is like 10x, jack 10. Yeah, but it's still one pair, right? And then. Sure. It's a lot. Like, uh, he checks back the flop, he checks back the turn. Now I think it's like, okay, we have to face reality. You think we're going to have to do it ourselves? Sure yeah, I think, I think the question is, will this villain get in um, Jack 10 to three streets? No. Well, two absolutely. streets. Maybe two? two streets, though. With a little bet here? Is that just two point two? Two is good. No. You just check. <laughs> you can bet the river. The sober. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's got ace three. You're screwed, Louis. <laughs> One, man. No. You know how much I want to raise here? Yeah, so a against lot. population, I'm raising, but I'm just going to call versus the solver. No, oh, I think you can low. raise four. I think it's a mistake you're, not to raise. You're you're blocking the straight. I don't know he, he could just be checking an ace all along, right? It's, it's not impossible, right? I no, I like think we still rage here. We can just call this guy and see what he's up to. And be if you raise, I think it's got to be six. I don't think four is half pot. So well, we got one street. It might just be one big line, but it's still better. No, I would just call. I'm calling. You can raise. That's just call. Yeah, it's just a call. I think fine. <laughs> okay. You weren't you weren't getting paid anyways, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think some of these suited aces jam sometimes, but um, I, I do a lot of calling. There's no jamming at all here with any suited aces. No, okay. I hadn't looked at these ranges today, so I'm just kind of your, your wheel I'm ones kinda, don't jam, Louie. My wheels, Peter, maybe ace four, maybe ace five, but it's like, ah, we jamming like king jack suited, king ten suited. Yeah, those uh, you're definitely you're definitely jamming some suited Broadway, hundred percent. It's like this. Are you, are you ever three betting this? No, you don't. But Louis says these things with confidence. I'm. I just assume he's. I feel like it's range. like an 80, 20, 20 Yeah, that's about what I was going to say, Bill. It's like fifteen yeah. percent raise, I think. Oh, look at this, Louis! Come on now, come on now. Yeah. Ace five, ace two, ace eight. I said those two, right? But in general. Look at the general suited a strategy. You just call, right? Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I said. Maybe I was a little more slanted towards raising. These, but... these are high frequencies. This is the. Yeah. Power. That's the power. Yeah. Oh, look at queen! Wow, never did that. How about so? Queen? Question. No, I actually I don't flat queens here ever. Yes. Or jacks. Queens or jacks, I'm just not going to do it. Wow. I haven't done it. Wow. My, my database is lacking. It could be. It could be a nice thing. So let me ask a question, Louis. If they're overfolding, if you have a villain who is struggling to defend versus your aggression, do you think the EV of flatting a hand like A7 goes up or down compared to jamming? I don't know, man. We have position in this A7, I think. Then we're going to make more money or a say we're going to make more money if we make the flush and we have a, we're a bunch in here. You know, everything you just said in that entire sentence, you could replace with King Jack suited and the sentence would make the exact same sense. No, but... is King Jack suited is, you know, these hands are going to struggle so much. They have like good, good raw equity, but we're never making it to the river. We were in position. You're in position. You got a good, strong hand. You can make the flush. It's, it's the exact same thing you said for A7. No, because for me, these hands are just like you're trying to scam the other. Whereas this one, you just have an ace blocker. You have a good, like, you, you know? The thing uh, about the suited broadways that are nice, too, is I think when you jam, if someone behind you wakes up with a hand, you still can flop uh, well and do decently well. 
No, no, I'm definitely on team jam here. I'm just asking the question, if you're playing against an opponent who's not defending appropriately, what do you think these hands prefer to do? I don't know the answer. I'm, I'm posing the question. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think you raise more for sure. I would think maybe, but I, but I don't know. There, you have to be concerned at some to some degree with the players in the blinds too. Like, sure. If you jam ace eight and they wake up with a hand, you're pretty screwed. But if you jam like king jack suit it, they wake up with a hand, you probably do a little bit better than you do with ace eight. I think it's an interesting question. I'm going to put it into HRC. How about two point two here? Why would rather jams are going to have an ace that are better? I would check here. Yeah, this is, is okay. Sure. Yeah, Jack Jack Ten with a flush draw. You want to bet big here? You don't yeah, want to. Yeah, I, I was going to say Jack Ten boards usually polarize. I don't think you polarize from in position here. Uh, not float bet versus late position. Late position. Late position is generally small float bets. The heuristic uh, versus earlier positions. You size up some. A little bit of big bets, but like in general, it's small bets. Just because of the scenario, like I said. Simplification. So, check, check. Why is it doing that? We got a little something now. Yeah, you got to go like uh, five eight. or eight. Eight. I mean, I go 5.5 five 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 here. Yeah. That's 10, eight. 16. Eight. It's a pot size jam. It might go bigger. I go five, though. I'm a fiver check. I'm yeah. checking. Why turn check this ace high I, into I, a bluff? No, I'm checking again. You picked up equity, but like he's still going to have but a better hand than you a lot. We've got flop. Yeah. yeah, it's either check or large. Oh, sorry. I was putting in something to HRC. Oh, wait, so did we you get... check flop? I'll pay your bet. Yeah, I'll look, 6.7. Look, 6.7, Ken. He checked. He checked. Why'd you check? 81%, dude. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it, it does bet a lot. A lot of stuff here, Ken, with one spade in my hand or anything really, but not a side. Yeah, no, I could check, but you got a bet turn. Well, why do you have to bet turn? You because he checked twice but, and we want to steal the pot. But if, I think that if we had um like eight six, it'd be more interested in bluffing than. Well, ace here's nine. another no. Here's another thing. Like our ace high bluff here beats a lot of his continues that are going to continue his flush draws and straight draws. Like the ace high is just ahead of a lot of stuff he's just going to call with. What do we do against a stuff here? Just have to fold, right? Got to oh. fold. Yeah, it's easy fold. Yeah, so you have a draw that's struggling against the ace. No, but you can still get value from worse hands here when you bet. I believe. Let's look at that. Value from worse. Yeah, so you, let's can, see you can definitely get called by some spades that are worse and some hearts that are worse. Yeah. But this is you're just gonna have a hard time on the river. Well, we're in position. How hard of a time can we have? Huh? We're gonna bluff non-flush completing hands, probably, and non-straight competing completing hands. Okay, but I mean, like Jack Ten. Not like this. I think we just jammed. Huh? Jamming this. We unblock both flush draws. We block the straight. We got. I think you just ship it, dude. What are you gonna do? Sure. I wouldn't not turn. bet turn. I'm not even betting turn. I'm just going. I'm to shipping turn. it. Okay. Shipping let's, let's take a let's take a look at bluffing Ace High on the river. It's um, there. Yeah. I mean, he does check all the boxes for the shove. Like, I don't hate the shove. Yeah. And I also don't think top population is folding that, though. Really? You don't think population is folding a ton? Not really. I think they get too sticky there. I'm calling. No. I... What? It's just a shove. Did you say call, Ken? Oh. Why is that? Because I can call uh, if like one of the blind squeeze, I think this is just good enough to call off if the hijack folds. What about and if they both that? fold, I get to play a pretty strong in position versus hijack. You don't want to jam here? Nah. Why not? I don't think it's necessary. It's too strong to jam? It's going to jam some probably. 
Yeah. Our percent. All right. I thought it was a little too strong. Yeah. Well, 100% is just some, you know. Does it call, what's it do with Ace Jack? Do you guys see this? Hey, you're right in the aces. Yeah, it's probably going to shove Ace Jack a bit as well. The scam has begun. Ace Jack, Ace King, Ace Queen off suit, all are going to jam at some frequency there. All right. What about this one? This is a good flat. Flat? Or three back. Yeah. No, you keep you want to keep worse kings and worse queens in. Aha. Uh -huh. You like this flat beat, right? You want to keep the worst kings in, right? Yes, because the cutoff is wide enough that when you raise, you're only going to face against ace king and ace queen. And when you call, you keep in queen jack, queen 10, king 10, king 9. So what do you think that as a king here? Uh, so probably my three bet bluffs are going to come from the worst suited kings, like king 7, king 8. King seven, king six, maybe. Yeah. It's shoving sometimes. No, no, suited. King seven, king six. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And then we can push our call. Yeah. I'm not pushing often enough here. So I ran that spot, Louis. I tightened the opening range a smidge and I tightened the calling range a smidge. And what do you think happened? You tighten the opening and you tighten the calling range. Mm -hmm. From the cutoff. Okay, and then what? The question is for? It was for the aces, the suited aces. Does it not? They base they basically all have jamming frequencies now. They want to jam all of them. Most of them yeah, up to ace nine. It's mixing frequencies. It's a very competitive option at Chip PV. Chip PV, you didn't use ICM. No, no, no. I didn't change it at ICM or anything. I didn't. Why do HRC loves these super aces so much? I think yeah, they're just logical. I think they're just logical expansions. They have similar properties to like the suited wheels. All right. So the exploit was that. So basically, a if tighter and then the blind yeah, so, back enough. Yeah. So but I didn't it, mess with the blinds. The blinds are at equilibrium. If the cutoff is opening a little bit tighter, he's a little nittier, and he's calling off a little bit tighter. He's a little ah, bit nittier. I see. I see the jam. You can. You can. It starts preferring to jam a lot of the suited aces. The, particularly the wheelie ones. Yeah, that was what we looked at when we were at we did the twenty big blind study. Yeah, right? cool. Those those aces are very frisky. Do we want to bet here? High frequency check, maybe a low frequency bet because you have a heart. But I'm checking. Yeah, ace with two wheel cards, very low, very low frequency bet board. So it's a check so, with the best so on their hand. I have a cool. I have a question. We haven't looked at this. But like, I, I'm sure we, some of us have a, just an idea of this, but like when the cutoff opens the button, how many ace X are we really flatting here to, compared to three betting? Like, I feel like we should be three betting or jamming a lot of them. No, so, we got ace jack, we got ace jack I'm off and down pretty, pretty much. Nine effective, man. You got ace jack. Ace jack, ace 10, you got ace five suited, ace jack up to ace jack suited. We, yeah, we have all this suited aces. They have all the suited aces at some frequency, except for ace king, maybe an ace queen. Ace yeah, nine, I, ace ten, I, ace jack. Maybe Pocket I'm aces. just I'm jamming a lot of ace jack here. Ace jack, ace, sure. Sure, ace jack know, off is fine, but but ace ten suited, you don't jam. Yeah, probably not, right? Ace jack suited, I don't think you jam either, man. Think you jam the offsuit one? Sure, all day. Yeah. I mean, his range is still pretty wide. He's got more aces than us for sure, right? Ted? I mean, that's, that's what you're getting at, but he's got a lot of other stuff too. He's jacked. Yeah. Like, I'm basically just trying to sort out what the balance of aces are here. Like, how good is an ace high flop for us, button versus cutoff? 
And, and I mean, it's 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 reasonably good. okay. I think the the Pretty rule good. of thumb generally is in these cutoff versus button flats, um, equities run are often kind of close-ish, like 50-50. Yeah. Are they? Okay. Yeah, that's why I cut off checks a lot, um, because they don't really have a big equity advantage. I'm wondering if we bluff spade, like if we have a single spade more or a single heart. Like, I don't know if a single spade wants to realize, probably not. So we have a smidge more equity in position, and that's for, why, why, why would that be? Oh, Louis, this is an important thing. You're doing it after he checks on this specific flop. Oh, that's yeah, a, that is gonna that is gonna affect things. And that's why we bet small. When he when he fails to bet, then that often means you know he's capped himself slightly. So we then take little stabs. There you go. There you go. Nick's, yeah, Nick's right. Or I'm sorry, Tim's right. Yeah, it is basically equal equities. And you see that across a wide range of flops. You don't have huge advantages, and that's part of why both sides play kind of cautiously against the other. So how often is cutoff supposed to check here? Only half the time? Yeah. Seems like he's betting a lot more than I would have thought. No, he's checking 75%. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Ken. <laughs> we bet 50% once checked, too. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's what we we're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think we can get away with a better small percentage of time with back to hearts if you want to bluff off our stack, but I'd be happy to just call, honestly, with, or check back this hand. Yeah, yeah, king, queen is like an ideal <laughs> check back hand, right? This is the... Pretty yeah. good. You know, it's, paid, it's, I'm yeah. bluffing. It's, I'm the, it's the rule. It's the best unpaired hand, right, that usually gets yeah. slotted into a check range. Yeah. Bar all five of spade, though. And like might be closer to betting for value than betting as a bluff. We're basically trying to steal the steal. Steal the steal. Yeah. So do we bet here without a speed? Uh, oh. I would probably play check here, to be honest, in game. I wouldn't be surprised to see minor bet frequencies, though, at equilibrium. Yeah, I, I'm with Galen. You usually check the the best unpaired hands. I think having a heart gives us a little bit, a tiny bit of betting frequency, but not a, a little streak, streak cred, right, Ken? Yeah. Not really. Well, I mean, you're checking. No, that's kind of true. Spades bet the most, hearts bet a little. Without either, then you really don't bet much at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you have a heart or a spade, it's the, the frequency is a little elevated. That's what I learned from all of these flush draw boards is that you can't really... Like the range bets disappear. Your strategy is heavily based on the suit. Well, we have the king of heart, do we not? We could maybe. 30% of the time, you bet every time. What is it? Queen of heart and then no king of heart, queen of loves. There's a yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. Really. Majority check. 10 on the turn. Mm, I like that. Mm, do we? Yeah, I'm back. We're just going to check back because we don't get a better king to fold. There's no such thing. Start getting smart. Yeah, I mean, what are we fold? trying to bluff him off of? You think he's going to fold by pocket fives? I'm not excited about trying to get him off of I'm pocket betting. fives. It's... I think, if anything, his checks picked up equity on a 10. Like, a lot of his checks on the flop probably contain a 10, which would check on the turn. But not only that, we got the best showdown hand. Uh, if, he, if he doesn't have an ace and it goes to King R, we win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bet small. We're in position. No, we're going to bet a bit more. He's kind of established that he has showdown now. The reason why we weren't bluffing before was because he had a bunch of like medium one pair hands. He has pocket sevens. He has 10 X. Um, I'm, I'm betting like, I want to bet small just to maybe induce bluffs. Four? But... Yeah, I don't really want to go much smaller than like four here. We revered like just a monster. What about 10? Yeah, I mean, it's fair. If he, if we're gonna where he's going to call, he's going to turn his king of spades into a bluff, and we're going to stack him. Yeah, four. I'm kind of with Ken. I like two. I would bet 2.5 in game. I too small in position. We're not allowed to do that. Yeah. All in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it comes okay. to check, 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 check. Well, I wanted to go over bad. When I then you see the flush, you're like, yeah. 
He's only going to call that 10 with a flush, right? Yeah, then I feel oh. like your instinct, like, eh, let's just bet half pot and get called is a um, like an exploit for small six opponents who are it like, probably, eh, I mean, probably, he could be bluffing. I'll just call with any one pair. It probably is. They, they it's it's, not, it's, not, a it's not a balanced. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's not a balanced strategy at all. <laughs> but then you're disgusted when he shows up with a set that would play like a knit or two pair that's going to call, you know? I, I've never seen a person in a... Uh, in a ten dollar game, play check, 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 check with a set. It's scary boards. Rare. It's rare. I've yeah. seen. I, I've seen one. His name is Gary. <laughs> Tim, what do you do here? I think it's a pretty mandatory three bet. I think we want to trap better hands, not this hand. So, what's your calling frequency here? Ish. I haven't studied these, but I will it's say a, it's a trap, Tim. It's a it's trap. Low. He's trapping you. It's low. He's trapping you. It's like it's a percent. Zero. A zero percent. Ten percent. I mean, maybe for balance, but like, oh. nah, not really. Fifty fifty. I, I think it's higher than that. Oh. We only have five big blinds. What are you? Why do you guys want to treat that so much? We're pretty strong here. It's time to be in it. And yeah, call. I like uh, you can trap with us sometimes and hope one of the blinds wakes like squeezes, and then you just call it off. I think it might even be lower than fifty. Majority call. Yeah, got a great primarily three hand bet non all like, or, or like I don't flat enough. Unless it comes like an ace king something, I mean, crazy. So can we see? Can we see our strategy? But if it comes ace king something, and his going range, New Jam's gonna have a lot of ace sex and king x in it, so you're gonna lose the pot a lot anyway. <laughs> I do have a question, Louis. Do you have like twenty five percent of the field charts with GTA Wizard? Uh, or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. We should. Why don't you uh, just just for giggles? Why don't we compare the strategy with like those hands when you uh, apply a smidge of ICM? I think this particular hand. I mean, it might call kings more and queens less. That's what I'm thinking too, Ken. That's exactly what I'm thinking. But I I, I don't know. Like I'm just kind of curious how it may affect the strategy when we start getting a little deeper into a tournament. You know. Like 37, 25, somewhere in there, I think are both reasonable look at. If you can find a symmetric arrangement. 25. Yeah, just look, at, just look at the symmetric one. Yeah, click um, symmetric. There you have a 25. Yeah, you got a 25-er. So you can compare it one to one. It was, Under the gun it was UTG one. plus one opens, right? UTG one, I think, was the opener. And then we're looking at the button. So we've pure now range. shifted to a pure min raising strategy with the top of our range. You don't and rip anymore. And you're not ripping anymore. <laughs> Which is kind of so I mean, I guess it's uh it looks like it, I guess it's just a little wow. less polarized. It's a little more like stabby. Look at this though. Yeah, yeah. So basically we're at a late reg, but not in the money yet, right? 25%. Yeah. 25 so 12 percent of the field is usually what they pay so you're approaching right yeah yeah you're definitely approaching you're feel, starting to feel it right i think a lot of places a lot a lot of all night sites are playing paying 15 percent now aren't they sure i think next um, summer of 10 still too look i'll pay before you yeah, move i want to point something out look at all those bottom pairs that you're going to just call with that aren't in range i know yep I know, but it's not only that. Oh. It's uh, everything else, too. You have been jamming my Queen Jack suited on the bubble forever. <laughs> Me too, honestly. Well, not against under the gun one on that. First of the later positions, like cut off, maybe. I now, don't. I would be. It may just be the fact that under the gun one is the opener, and you have to be a little more respectful. Like if you uh, move him around the, the okay. horn, you're going to. Yeah, okay. Phew. Yeah, so if it's like a hijack or cutoff, yeah, you can still okay. it's competitive, ooh, right? It's competitive. Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah. Against CP, I mean, I don't really jam my queen jack suited. You just need to be a little more respectful, yeah. I think, is yeah. the uh, message there. So we did it. We went with the flag call, and sure enough, 
karma comes back to bite us and we get right. a flop with a flush draw and we don't have a card of the soup. Hey, we're in position. Call one. Just yeah, it's definitely it. call one. We're not folding. I think we're going to call more than one. Ooh. I mean... Okay, so second... PI board, we're supposed to overfold, right? But then we're pretty happy here. We have a heart. So my problem is when I see a card peel on the turn that I know that he should know that's better for a caller than a better opener. Like we have way more seven X than he should have bed barely. Like I, 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 I get overly sticky here. We don't have that many sevens. I don't think so. Yeah. Seven, eight, seven, nine, we have more than seven, a seven. When he, when he barrels a card that's not good for him, Maybe doesn't that seven, mean nine. you should fold more instead of get more sticky? This one is mixing. We are, but we're pretty high up in our right. value range here. Yeah, I would call. say, still, so what I'm saying is probably going to call here. A hand that would still want to barrel here is maybe like a flush draw. Like if he has like an ace, 10 of hearts, that might be a hand that double yeah, barrels. Not having a spade is probably good here for us. I would say probably. I don't know, actually. I have a heart. Having a heart's probably bad, right? It's, we yeah, want it was, to be barreling hearts. It's good. We can call them with the heart. I would definitely call one more street here is kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. And it's, it's not really... It's, to call. it's not even really that close. Like, I mean, it's 1.57, which is, you know, that's pretty, like, in there. Heart, 1.34. No heart, hey. 1.56. Hey. Hey, look at this, Louis. This is interesting. Look at Jax. Look at the EV of Jax compared to Queens. Like, Jax is better than Queens. Why do you think that is? I don't know, because it looks like having a Jack here is pretty bad. If you look just at the general hands, but... I guess his bluffs probably contain more Queen X, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, he's going to be bluffing the queen of spades and the queen of hearts at a higher more, frequency than the jack. more frequently yeah more frequently that's right he's just got more raw combos of bluffs with queen x so yeah. the ev of jacks and queens are similar but you block more bluffs if you have the queens which is kind of yeah. a an interesting little nuance well yeah he just has less jacks than queens in the range right Right, so jacks having nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's better to have jacks than queens here because he's more likely to have a bluff if he's got queens. He's bluffing less jacks, and he's bluffing simple as that. Bluffing yep. But and I mean, we're still calling both pure, so it's really like splitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just a little nuance. You're right. Like now, I would check for sure. Yeah, yeah. happy days. Yeah, check back and win sometimes. Not yeah. this time. But there's a there's a perfect example of a time where queens ran into aces and we didn't get stacked. Yeah, at twenty five right. effective. At twenty five effective. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? Like and I would be, I would be steaming if I was that guy with aces. LP, it's a thing yeah, you check back on river. Like I feel call. like aces is gonna bet some, but he didn't go for it. This is a call. This is a good call. Thank yeah, you. good well, call for nine eight suited. He also lets us go for a bluff with a missed flush draw there, too. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's oh, definitely no, check, checking the call, not checking the I know. We're, we're having a conversation. Yeah, with you, you know, we could bet would, types of board. Right? I actually like barreling this one yeah. just because 9-8 yeah. eight, eight has some backdoor equity, and we get tons of better stuff to fold. I don't like... Yeah, and we're supposed to find a fair number of stabs when he checks. In this I'd like little, to have, like, a jack X, something with more interactivity a little bit, but... You know, what are you going to do? I will, I will say, like, having a nine and an eight is probably blocking some of the folds, but no, 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 gonna... it's, it's not about that. It's about this scenario here. This is the pretty bad board 3.7 or check. We don't have, but eight. Louis, you're, you're just looking at the board and not the action. He checked. So, yeah. like, he has hands like ace, eight of clubs that we want that, to try and get put pressure on. He has hands like pocket sixes that we want to put pressure on. Like, right. Ken's going to struggle to win if in, we don't start betting it now. I don't similar, mind checking, but we got to bet Similar arrangements, I think it's we bet like half of the time. So, you know, we got to mm -hmm. find some bets here. If it was queen, jack, four, I'd be all for, all up for it. Ten, I mean, jack, four, four is easy. You got a gutty. Or whatever, you know, whatever other type of board than King I. That's all I'm saying. 
Okay. No, but it's, I mean, you can't just say King High. It's a King High that he declined to bet. That's just like hugely important here. If he bet, he might just be folding. It's not a slam dunk bet, but you're gonna have to bet it sometimes. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still betting this here. I think three point seven is probably the right size. Okay, they're not so bad. I thought it would be worse, really. Like they're mostly checks, right? Actually, like a sixty percent. A after he's Hang on, let's do it like that. Um. These are amongst the board we check the most. The the board we check the most clearly monotone. It just seems to be highly coordinated high cards. Checking, yeah. Highly coordinated high cards. Yeah. So like the fact that it's rainbow is a it's a check for us to bet. The fact that it's two face cards is a check against. Like I think the equity is going to be competitive between bet and check here. Okay. Um, I'm just checking here. Yeah. yeah. This right, is so like, our, you, because it's a king eye board. I went too big, mad. but this is I'm one of our it. worst hands too. I think. Yeah. I That's true. This is one of our worst hands. You got nine one eight nine nine three. Like checking's fine. I I do bet this a lot in game though, and I bet small. But yeah, no, no bigger than third of a pot here. Yeah, I went a little big. I thought we might size up a little bit versus an earlier position, but maybe the SPR changes that a little bit. It, it's going to size up when you have more direct equity turns. When you, yeah. you like, you're yeah, just looking to fold sense. air here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Louis, I, go back to nine eight suited. There's an interesting thing there. Um, I have a strong hypothesis about why nine eight of diamonds is so interested in betting, and I think it's because we block the suited combos of king x and queen x. It's the back door that also blocks a bunch of king x and queen x suited, so he's less likely to be slow playing like a a king nine, a queen nine. King nine of diamonds. Queen exactly. Of yeah, you're blocking more likely combos, right? So interacting exactly. with the bottom flush is better because it's a more relevant blocker. Okay. Yeah. And of course, we still have the back door. You know, sometimes it still goes diamond, diamond, and we river a flush. Intelligent comment there, Tim. Good job. That's good. <laughs> those are those are the nuggets I really appreciate these days. <laughs> We've seen that combo, that logic apply a lot. And I never understood why until now. Yeah, yeah, it's good, right, Scotty? I backdoor mattered. Yeah, good job. I now that we checked, I'm I'm kind of like washing my hands of this this situation. Like I, I'm not going to probe. Like his his checks picked up equity at this point, and oh man, but he just like he just has pocket seven sometimes. Even if even if he we just bet, has, like, even if we bet, I think I would give up here honestly. Uh, All right, so I, so, okay. so I got a question. Checks. I'm ready to take a stop. I'm All right, so what kind of hands in our range is he going to be folding to here? Like, okay, so what what in your range is threatening that checks the flop and bets the turn on this? Queen like, Jack, Ace Jack, Queen Jack, and nine. Sure. We have some strong hands here. Well, we're checking back King X too. We're not betting like pure are like king x on the flop either it's like we still have we have everything still I, yeah i don't know do this yeah i don't know man i um i've kind of washed my hands of it maybe i'm this i'm missing turn probe so maybe this is one of the spots that i could benefit from uh betting so i think the thing to keep in mind here is that both of our ranges have um just like downgraded so much so like it's not all about top pair at this point after it's gone check 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 yeah um, like second pair is a strong hand so like any queens that we checked back flop with they're pretty strong they, they need a bet for value i don't see yeah. it like that it's more like we played a, a hand similarly where we pick up like a gut shot a couple of hands ago it's just a stab it's a, we're just trying once and if it doesn't work we're trying to steal the steal it's just that we okay can do it on the flop. i would uh, i would i would point this out betting this turn is as attractive if not less attractive than betting the flop i prefer to bet this turn a lot than betting this i'm just i'm just saying ev wise like the whole range like there, there's not a difference here compared to like betting the flop compared to this yeah right they're both mixing heavily. you pay two checks 
Yeah. Well, it's more attractive. You go from seventy percent checking to fifty percent checking. I'm not. I'm not talking like globally from the range. I mean, that's just the nature of the oh, scenario. Right. I'm. I'm just talking the EV of this specific combo. In my mind, it's like, just like a little stab. You stab once, and that's it. It doesn't. I like a little. I like a little stab on the flop, though. Yeah, but it was not like. Uh... All right. I'll. I'll... GTO, GTO, like 70 percent check 60 percent check whatever right whatever <laughs> all right here you this are this is not you the hand i want to keep blasting off with i mean we've stabbed and we've stabbed again you block a bunch of jack x you block no, a bunch we, of seven x we, we, we checked flop we stabbed her really check flop he refused to bet so are, are you so gonna are you gonna where we have to bet river I would game. think I think if you bet the turn, you gotta bet the river on yep. this kind of a card. I don't like it at all. <laughs> but oh, done. well, do you have to go all in a little bit sometimes? I don't think you have to go all in. I don't think you have to go all in at all. And I think it's probably not preferred. I, I think like I think four is too small. So maybe se seven or ten. Test, 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 test. My hearts are going to go for that type of value. Good morning, Danny. It just no, checked. Oh my this God. Isn't a good combo. You, the absolute you. Not me. <laughs> Why are you punting, Danny? You we see? blame you, Danny. Well, at least. All right, guys. At least what, is, what is the nuts on this, on this river? It's hearts. Therefore, what do you want to have? Do you have the strength, anyway? No. no he had, a, he had second, second pair. pair. He, second yeah. pair. He got owned. Okay, just jam. I like jamming this combo. Mostly jam. Yeah, jamming queen off. We saw that already. And I like jamming that combo at almost any stage of the tournament. Almost. First. Thing. I agree. I agree. Just call. Play call is here here is the attractive option. I think the most attractive. I'm continuing. Yep. <gasps> I don't know. Be harder, Spade. Under the gun. We don't have suit interaction. Bold. It's the disrespectful bet. I I'm feel offended. Yeah. He thinks he can get away with 1.35. He's got another thing coming. You want to look at ace nine of diamonds, maybe? Ace yeah. nine, I think, is a slam dunk, to be honest. You I don't even about one big blind. I would have pulled it. <laughs> what about half a big blind? The ace nine of diamonds is. I'd have threw another chip at him. <laughs> at his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A seven. All right. So it's drawing the line when you can make a better second pair, essentially. Like, but okay, cool. All right. So I'm micro three betting this, but I think it's a call. Yeah. Yeah, I over three bet this. I bet small. Ooh, I'm checking. Yeah, is it? <clears throat> I'm talking to myself now. I've got to bet one big line. I kind of oh. like betting one. It's a paired board. It's it's connected around a calling range more than an opening call range. My worst day size. I would bet seven six six with my ten my ten eye straight draw. Where if I had a spade, where if I had a heart. But right now, I think we've got a pretty good hand. We don't really want to get check raised off of yet. I'm betting one. Yeah, I'm I checking see merit to both. I you like check checking logic. Better, can you get a better ace high to fold? No, you can't. Bet one. I'm not, bet I'm not betting now. Like there's a lot of like equity stuff that picked up. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna. I uh, I don't know. Do you do you call this? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oof. All right. Hey, before you go, just out of curiosity, <laughs> if you adjust it for ICM, like let's say twenty five percent of the field, what do you think this hand prefers to do? Folding preflop. Oh, I don't think it folds preflop. That's pretty nitty. I I don't know though. It might start the three bet a little bit oh, rather than pure call. Might I so? I think it might three bet more, but I don't know, right? I, what I don't was know. the question? I don't know either. So if you, if you add a risk premium, like 25% of the field left or something, do you think mm. this hand still prefers flatting? I would three bet. Hmm. I think it's going to slant 
towards three betting a little bit more. So like 25 symmetric, 25. And it was like cutoff button, I think is what we were looking at. Or yep. Cutoff. Yep, that's right. I might start jamming. I don't think it'll jam. I, I don't think this is the combo you want to jam. It, you'd, you'd probably want to like lean on the suited stuff, I think, if you're jamming, because you want the extra equity. Maybe ace jack off some. Cut off, Louis. Yeah. Cut off cut opens, off, buttons response. So it's still a full frequency three bet. Well, well it's no, almost no, no. a full see, frequency call. The other that's, that's, see, Tim, it's flipped mm -hmm. now. Like before, when it's chip EV, um, it's a full frequency call. Now that we've added a risk premium to this situation, it's a full frequency three bet. Yep. Like you're just not flatting a lot here now. Um, and to your credit, yeah, ace jack is where it starts picking up in ace queen, Ken. But because you have so many less jams with your best value hands, like ace king, ace queen are not jamming here, you just have a much more robust uh, th uh, three betting range that is micro three bet. It, honestly, it's really just hams hamstringing the calling range so like so it, you see this here though i think you're doing this the other way around 25 percent of the field left you get to not slow play anymore yeah i know i'm uh i'm a criminal for that. I, i'm a i'm a dirty criminal i know <laughs> i think it's like if you want to check yourself though like you could still slow play aces more you know like I can't, out. Tim. I can't help it. I'm an addict, and I will flat aces till the day I die. I, I think that's fine. Right. I think flatting it, kings is a uh, scary. It is scary. <laughs> oh, Pete couldn't fold the ace ten. He had to change his answer to see what the guy had. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to get a little out of line here, I feel like maybe a three bet here sometimes. But oh. yeah, just a folds, right? Yes, that's a, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> That's why I said a little out of line. Maybe it was a lot of out of line. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What is this? Ace it's Queen Jays. Ace Jack calls. I want that jack. It's too early jizzle. position. Maybe if it was the high jizzle, you could do oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cut off. Cut off your jam all day. I think it still calls versus cut off. Wow. Oh, do you? Yep. This is shocking. Kind of want to check this back. I mean, if no. we're calling preflop, I kind of am with you. Tim. I'm betting this. We can make a jack high straight. We got two overs. We could be ahead of so some of his calling range. We can get better hands to fold, turn and river. So I'm betting. What, Ken, what are you doing versus check race? Folding. Okay, so. See, yeah, can you say you can get called by worse? That's true, but only a little bit. You have like a little bit of worse aces with backdoors and stuff. I think we tend to get folds from hands we're ahead of, and we tend to get called by hands that are ahead of us, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to say is we get to float bet roughly 50% of the time here, and I think this exact hand is going to bet about 50% of the time. That's I don't possible. hate that. Yeah, I don't hate that, Ken. Honestly, I don't hate that. I lean towards checking because this is. I'm going to slot this into like a hand. I want to protect its equity at this point. It's vulnerable, yeah, but it's other bad other stuff. We block. But we I, don't block. We block. We have the hearts and spades as well, which is really nice. I think. I don't. I. I don't hate your answer, Ken. Honestly, I think it's very reasonable. King yeah, jack, queen gonna... jack, jack ten, jack nine. I just slot this into like if the, if the pot stays small. This can still win at showdown. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, there's an argument to be made for betting small here, but checking is the yeah, most competitive option. Here. And it's and it's a value bet. Yeah. All right, so... Well, all right, so I do want to size up a smidge here. Yeah, I yeah. do. I do you think we're more inclined to size up with the heart or without the heart? Five. We size um... If it's and this stacked up, lasting. I think without the heart, you go a little larger. Yeah, I, I, kind agree. Of, uh, I agree. I agree with you guys. I think if you don't have the heart, you'd be incentivized to bet maybe like more 5.5. I see. And I think it flips a bit more at like SPR, like 10. It would be uh, different. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I think it's crazy to me. All right, so like if you follow the logic, let's see. All right, so the combo's with a heart. Does it matter? Like what? We just block some of his check raise. 
So it the doesn't best seem, one it doesn't seem to matter like much. Because so. the Ace of Hearts is there. It's like honestly, I'm I'm presenting this more as like a thought experiment to kind of understand how it works, not as like an implementable thing like you need to be doing in game. There's slivers of bigger bets without mm -hmm. the heart. Yeah. It's yeah. more of just trying to understand how the solver is organizing here. Yeah, it it I don't think it matters. We made top pair, you know, best kicker that we call with. We have yeah, funny big very similar, right? Growth. We're not playing the hearts anymore. We're just playing the top pair. Yeah, you're right. And I, I I wonder if it wasn't like I think the ace of hearts probably just kind of kills the uh, the difference. Like mm -hmm. uh, if we were dealing with something else where the ace of hearts was still alive, maybe it would matter more. Yeah, like if we turn the jack of spades here. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Blast it. He falls. Uh, same story. I think it calls a lot, but if you want to get a little out of line, you can click the raise button. Yeah, you can fold this here too, probably. You think? I, I don't know if I'm folding King 10 versus a late position open. Um, I, don't think there, I don't think there's many calls. Okay. Ooh. Maybe I'm a little stickier here than I need to be. Because I, I, I was thinking it's going to be like minor three bet full frequency call. King Jack would be a good one. Queen yeah, King, good King one. Jack is definitely a good one, right? Yeah, King 10 King Ten's the bottom of his opening range. I think he's yeah. got some king. Well, he's definitely got some suited ones that are worse, it, but yeah, suited ones, but not all suit. Well, is he opening king nine? Maybe not. Twenty five big blind. We don't bluff. That's the thing. I know. Well, that's a, you keep talking right about that. You keep talking about three betting pre flop, but twenty five bigs, man. You don't really bluff. In chippy only VLAN, in ICM, right? huh? I was going to yeah. say in chippy V land. Maybe yeah. if you like look at like fifty percent of the fields, even. Like, so you get like a decent balance. I'd be curious. Would you? Kind of. I mean, aren't you a I little curious? It, yeah, I bet it starts getting in there with even 50%. Like 50% is about, like 75 is like almost. Let's look at 37. Right? When was the last time you look at 37% of the field? Not very often, right? So same story. We want to look at... All right, so now, like, look at this strategy, how, like, drastically different at 25 it is. Like, you're right, at 25 Chippy V, we're just incentivized to run equity and jam. We don't care. Yeah. But, like, there's a lot more nuance here when you start three betting smaller. Louis, can you change to hijack open? Hijack? Hijack? Sorry to interrupt. And I almost feel like we should just be studying, like, the 50% charts, like, uh, as the standard. I don't want to drive the train, Tim, but <laughs> that's where my mind has been for a very long time. <laughs> because they're just so different. And we just like, if you late reg a little bit, and like these, this is the tournament you're playing. You're never playing Chip EV. Well, I've always thought like, I don't know too many situations where I'm playing 25 big blind Chip EV unless it's a speed, <laughs> like a speed racer. Okay, sure. Or like right. some kind of like short turbo deal. But like typically, if you're 25 effective at the table, there's going to be some kind of risk premium in play. So on the left, pure chippy B. On the right, 50% of the field left. Right. So we, like when like you, and that, those things that we were just looking at, like how frequently you're flooding queens from certain positions, and like at 50% of the field remaining, which is not a high CM spot, it's just gone. Yeah. When you start caring about the payouts at all. Like the strategy does kind of shift quite a bit at 25, huh? Man, it's crazy. Yeah, I like I haven't, I've only like been looking at these sporadically. I haven't like sat down and studied these. Um, it's well, I'm, it's I'm really glad striking. GTO Wizard got them because I mean, I've been looking at some of this stuff when I had a uh, pre flop academy pretty frequently trying to compare some of these ranges, but um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, well. Check this We've out. done it. We've done it. Here we are, Louis. Hang 